Hello and welcome to another A3ES tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics. We will cover how to retrieve your password, how to access the accreditation request form, and how to produce the external assessment team's preliminary assessment report, including how to edit this report, how to submit information requests, and then how to submit the actual preliminary assessment report. To enter the online system that will support your assessment, if you do not have an email containing a direct link, my recommendation is that you access it through the A3ES webpage. Please click in Accreditation and Auditing, and there, there's an option, which is A3ES Information System, and there you will see two links. The link that you want is the one that's associated with the new study programs, which is the NCE acronym. Click here and you will be directed to the new information system. Once you reach the online system, you will probably encounter a login page in Portuguese. However, I remind you that on the top left corner, you may click EN to switch the language to English. If you need to recover your password, you may click on Password Recovery and you will be moved to a password recovery page. Here, you will need to provide a couple of pieces of information to be able to retrieve your password. Please enter your email and a verification code and hit Submit. Once you submit the information, an email will be sent with your username and password. As of right now, I am on the testing server and I will use this interface to show you most of the actions available to you as an evaluator in the A3ES online system. The various sections of the home page that you will encounter once you enter the system have already been explained in a previous tutorial. However, as a reminder, you may edit your personal information in this area and you can also access details of your profile such as password, etc. under this particular option. As of right now, we are going to access the various assessment files under our account. To do that, you may click here, New Study Cycle Pre-Accreditation, or you may click on Non-Archive Processes or just processes up here. Once you access the area that has all your assessment files, you will find them organized in a table by row. This table has also been explained in detail in a previous tutorial. Each row represents one assessment. The columns contain specific information for each assessment. And then in this gray rectangle on the top of the table, you may search your various files uh, using different parameters. To access a specific assessment, you just need to click on this S-shaped line here at the beginning of each row. When you first enter the specific area of one of your assessments, you will have at the top two gray rectangles that contain a series of pieces of information. On the left side, we have information pertaining to the program itself, such as the code number, the name of the program, you have also here the name of your project coordinator. And then on the right hand side, you have the user profile. So this is your user profile. For example, I'm accessing this file as the president of the external assessment team. And then below it, we see a list of messages. These messages are the history of most, if not all of the actions that have been done to this specific assessment. You may click on see all and you will be able to scroll through all of the messages which basically document the various actions executed in this particular assessment. To access the accreditation request form, which is the information submitted by the higher education institution when they 
uh, requested accreditation for a new study program, you may either click on PDF report and this will generate a PDF of their submitted forms and download it automatically to your computer. Or you may click on process detail. This will open a new window and you will see the interface the higher education institution completed upon their submission. You may use the left hand side to scroll and you can see the various sections of the form and you can just switch between sections by clicking on the form. The disadvantage of this particular option is that you do not have a simple and easy way to print this. Uh, two more comments. Under process detail, if you scroll all the way down, you will see here questions and decisions. This is the history of all the actions executed on this particular assessment. So you can see here all those messages that I mentioned that keep track of everything that has been done to this assessment. In addition, you may click on number three and you can see the members of your external assessment team. So in this case, we only have one, one evaluator. If you would like to get the email address of the members of your external assessment team, you may just click here under export and this will generate an Excel file that will contain the emails of the members of your committee. When you access the page of one of your assessments, if you scroll a bit down, you will see a line that contains the various sections of the report of the external assessment team. You may jump through the various sections of the report by clicking on the various numbers. If you wish to answer the questions in a specific section, you first must reserve that section for editing and then the section will be available for editing. All the questions the external assessment team needs to answer are marked with the red asterisk. Furthermore, in front of each question you will see a question mark and if you hover over it you will see that it will show you the criteria and guidelines for that particular question. If you click on the question mark itself you will see the prompt for the help file related to all the questions in the report. Some of the questions you will encounter in this report will require the entry of text in both Portuguese and English. Please note that all members of the external assessment team have access to the same report. This means that what you enter in one section of the report will be visible to all members of the external assessment team. We are now accessing the same report that we were accessing a few minutes ago. However, we are looking at it as the president of the external assessment team. You can see here that at the top of the page, this section has been reserved for editing by another member of the team 32 seconds ago. So the system will tell you when someone else has been working on a specific section of the report. If you wish to start editing that same section, you must hit Cancel and Reserve. The system will then notify you that if you do that, the other person that had the reservation will probably lose any unsaved work and asks you whether you are sure you want to cancel their reservation. So we are going to say no. Another thing that I wanted to reinforce is that all members of the external assessment team see the same report. So. I had just entered a couple of test words and here they are visible under the report from the president's viewpoint. If you wish to extract the report of the assessment team as a PDF, you may click the PDF report button shown on the screen that is not currently available but should be available by the time you are viewing this video. If the external assessment team wishes to submit a question to the higher education institution that submitted the proposal, you may click on Make an Information Request. 
This could be due to some information missing or something that is not clear on the report or some additional information that is needed. To submit an information request, you need to write the text both in Portuguese and in English. Furthermore, you need to specify if the document that was submitted by the higher education institution needs to be edited. For example, if there's an error or if there's information missing and you wish for them to edit the file that they submitted on this platform, you would click yes, it's necessary to change the report. And then you can specify both in Portuguese and in English which sections of the report they must edit. Once you are done, you would click Submit Information Request. This will then forward the request to your project coordinator, which will then forward the request to the higher education institution. Once you have completed your report, you may press Validate Report to see if there are any questions left to answer. If there are, the system will tell you in which sections you have missing information. Once the report has been validated, the president of the external assessment team can submit the report by pressing this button. The report will then be forwarded to the project coordinator, which will then forward the report to the higher education institution. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact your project coordinator or A3ES. Thank you and have a nice day.